For those of you who are taking Thesis Seminar, just a quick recap for week 11. This week we're completing our dating collection process. Uh, we're completing our sixth week of designing instruments, collecting data, analyzing to a certain degree what we're collecting to determine what comes next in terms of best answering our research questions. Remember that that is ultimately our goal in our data collection process is to simply answer our questions and trying to triangulate the information, making sure that we are relying on a variety of data sources, whether those data sources are classroom observations, teacher interviews, student interviews, questionnaires for any of your participants, whether they're teachers, students, administrators, parents, etc. Your data might also include content or document analysis. So anything coming from the teacher in the form of, let's say, a lesson plan, any kind of, let's say, syllabus, the curriculum, any school policies, any didactic materials or technologies that the teacher is using in the classroom might need to be analyzed, as well as anything from the students in the form of homework, let's say any projects that they're completing, any activities that they are being asked to complete in class might also be something that you analyzed in, uh, as, as content analysis or as a document analysis. Remember this Friday, we'll have our next whole group session this Friday, April 12th at 11 o'clock in our classroom. Our discussions will primarily be focused on data analysis and i'll give you some ideas about how you can go about analyzing your qualitative information and to a degree analyzing quantitative information in the form of frequency remember our next whole group session is scheduled for this friday april 12th at 11 o'clock in our regular classroom and we'll primarily focus on data analysis this week, during week 11, all of our tutoring sessions will be online unless you request that we have it in person. Your attendance uh, will be required for the whole group session. And make sure that if you're uh, having some challenges that you're reaching out to me this final week in your data collection process. Regarding the originality score, all of you should have received an originality score at this point. Our goal is to make sure it's between 90 to 100%. If you are trying to increase your originality score, remember uh, the best way to do that is to create your text entirely on your own and not rely, if at all, on any kind of grammar checker. For example, Grammarly, Microsoft Word Editor. Of course, we want to avoid ChatGPT or any uh, generative AI text, or even paraphrasing gener generative AI text can also lower your originality score. Of course, using any kind of translation software can, um, can lower the uh, originality score as well. So if anyone would like for me to regenerate your originality score, uh, let me know. So remember that our final paper is going to be due May 24th. So just as an overview, we're going to be on break from April 15th until the 29th. I would go ahead and begin your data analysis so that when we come back on the 29th, you're ready to begin discussing what you want to include, what you want to exclude, and how you want to organize your information when developing your results and discussion section. We'll have basically three weeks to organize and then develop our results and discussion section, which will be around 2,000 words, and that will take us up to the 16th. At that point, we'll have one more week to complete the introduction paragraph and the conclusion paragraph. Ideally, when you finish the first draft of the results and discussion section by the 16th, I can give you some feedback and you can make changes this final week. Uh, this final week leading up to May 24th. So this will conclude our recap for week 11. Make sure you're reaching out to me if you have any questions or issues uh, as you are finalizing your data collection process.